What is up guys, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to blur faces in Final Cut Pro X. So you could basically use this effect to blur out anything that you want. You could blur out people's faces who's in your shot but don't want to participate in your movie. Or you could blur out license plates or anything like that. So for this example, I'm going to blur the face of the girl that's walking right there. And as I play the footage back, she's going to walk through the shot like so. So I'm going to have to keyframe the blur so that it follows her as she walks through the shot. But first off, we're going to add the blur itself. So to actually add the blur, you want to go down to the effects menu, which is right here. So click on this little button and simply search for sensor. And it pops up. So simply click it and drag it over to your shot and drop it on top of your shot. So for now we have this big pixelated circle in the middle of our shot and if you want to change that to an actual blur or maybe a black circle instead you could click method and select whatever you want. You could select blur which basically blurs it out or darken which is the black circle or rectangle which creates a rectangle instead. So I'm going to choose blur since I like that the most. You can also change the size and shape of the circle by either changing the radius and we actually want a smaller circle since it has to fit the head that's right here. So we're going to make it that size which is good right there. And then also the shape you can change that. But I think I'm going to keep it as a clean circle which is exactly one. We can then also invert the circle, which basically blurs out everything except the circle. So if we click that, it looks like that. Uh, but we're not going to do that today since we're going to blur out a face and not highlight a face. So you could also boost the amount by blurring it out completely. We're not going to do that neither, so just keep that at 1. You can also change the size of the circle by dragging on the edge. Now to actually make the blur follow her face, what we want to do is we want to first off replace it so that the blur is on top of her face like that. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Then I'm going to zoom in a bit. Um, sorry. So now we're going to add a keyframe under center. So hover over center and go over all the way over to the right where you see a keyframe icon. So go ahead and click on that and we've now added a keyframe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip two frames by clicking the right arrow on my keyboard twice. One, two. And then I'm going to reposition the circle so it fits her face like that. So I'm going to continue doing that throughout my whole shot. So once again, one, two frames ahead. Reposition the circle skip two frames again, reposition the circle, and so on. So I'm just going to fast forward this part so you don't have to watch me keyframe the whole thing. So I'll see you in two seconds. So I'm now done keyframing and it looks kind of shaky, but it only took me like one minute. So if you do this more precisely, you can make it look a lot better, but let's take a look. But actually, as I watch it, I think that I want a softer blur. So I'm going to decrease the amount to, I'll say, 25, around 26. 23 is fine. So let's watch it again. Now that looks a lot better. Because now you can't see the edges that good. So you can't see that it's shaking, which is good. You can also at any time change it from blur or darken or whatever you have it at to any other settings. So I'm going to try darken and see how it looks. I'm going to increase my amount again to make it completely dark. So you could do that too, but I like the blur amount better. So, oops, I like the blur better. And also I prefer an amount around, around 25. So. So that's all for this video guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, 
And I'll be back on my weekly schedule again, which is good. And I also have a giveaway coming up, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you later. Bye.